Yeah. And storage, you can see there is a right side. You have the object storage where you can see the bucket. Yeah. So the first thing in the object storage, always we have to go and create the bucket. Okay. So once you are in OCI console, you can get it and then you can able to use those service and you can able to get. So within your tenancy administrator will allow you to create that, then only you can able to create. If they are not allowing you, you can't able to create it. Okay. All right. Now, here you are just going to create the bucket. Yes. Got it. So bucket is basically the naming thing which you are going to allow. Okay. Got it. Apart from that, you have a policy, you have an entity, those all will be there. Mm, okay. Got it. So let's go and try it. So can you first go and click on the create bucket? What it is getting? Error retrieving the namespace. So it is asking you the bucket name. What bucket name you want to give? As per the, your choice, you can give the bucket name, whichever you want to use. Got it? So okay. You can click on the create bucket and give the name as per the, your choice. Like I give the bucket name like my my bucket or demo bucket or DVAT bucket. So any bucket name, whatever you want, you can use it. Okay. Yeah, it's done. Now there's a two type of the storage style you can see the standard and archive. Yeah, you can so, see my screen. Yes, I can see. Oh, good. No problem. Okay. I'm just guiding you okay. how you can able to do. So here's okay. the two type of the thing you can find. One is called a standard, another okay. is called archive. Yes, yes. Got it. So as per the your choice, you can choose what type of the bucket you want. So the storage, what storage you want. Do you want a standard storage or do you want to the archive storage? So as per the your choice, you can choose. Whenever you are choosing the standard storage, you can see there's a lots of options are there. Let's click on the archive storage. Okay. And then you can see the some options has different changes. Got it. Yeah. So accordingly, you can choose to automatically move in frequent data and those all. You can decide it. So choose the standard standard storage. Yeah, done. And if you want the email and those all the things, you can able to select the email object event. That means whenever you want, when a, don't do it, just try to understand. Yeah. So you have a various option here. Got it. Like you want to get the notification based on to that, you can able to get the email auto trading enable the object versioning like suppose we have a uh, same file with the two name got it so new will come that time you can able to use the object versioning that is possible we can able to use it we can able to get the thing so identically you can able to do that basically you can decide how you want to use what are the object storage you want how you want the notification, those all. And later on, you can see that do you want the encryption? So mm. If you can scroll below a little bit, the encryption. Yeah. So here is the encryption. Now encryption have the two options. Do you want to the encryption by the Oracle Manage key or you want to your own key? Of course, you don't have the own key. So by default, encryption using the Oracle Manage key. That no, we are. Okay. Choosing. Got it? Yes, yes. So go ahead and click to create bucket. Anything I need to select here? No, 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 no. I don't want. No. Do you want any email or uh, anything? No, no. Notification. If no. yes, then you can choose it. It will ask your email. But I'm not using. That's why I'm just saying you. Okay. This is just a demo. No. Okay. Now go and click on the create. Showing not Perfect. found. Click the cancel 
click the cancel and open it again. Uh, just cancel, 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 go to the hamburger menu and refresh it. Like the below, you can see the error retrieving name space. Okay. Connect object storage cannot connect to the UAE region. Can you change the region over there? No, no, left side you can see UAE is, is mentioned. One minute, left side. Near the cloud cell. After the search, global search, there's a, your okay, region okay. is showing. Yes. Manage the region. Maybe some issues into the UAE. Okay, UAE is you have chosen. But is here it's showing what is the uh, main problem here? AD also showing only one. Huh, so in the UAE, only one we have as of now okay. in Dubai. Okay. That's right. So Can you subscribe one... the other? Is it allowed? Choose so the East one... US or something? Subscribe one went East to US. Next. Uh, or India, something like that. In choose. Uh, India West. Not yeah, India West is Mumbai. Now you can choose that one and try to subscribe. No, it's not. Just both. give me one second. Just give me one. Okay, it's showing uh, you are exceeded maximum number of features. Yeah, so you won't able to subscribe. Am I correct? Yeah. Can you log out and log in again? Uh, but it's showing like that you have exceeded the maximum number of region allowed your talent. See, so, like... ah, so that's the only one region is allowed to you because it's a free account you are using. Am I correct? Yeah. That's why. Right. So that's not a big deal. Okay, I will log in again. Sign out now. In my case, I'm using the four region. Imagine that. Storage. Same thing I can go, go for bucket. Yeah, bucket only. I need to change the compartment anything. No, just give me one second. Just give me one second. Okay. Okay, so what you are trying to do, uh, still I can see the UAE have the issue. Troubleshooting connection, can you click on that? Because it is not relying on that. So let me go on my network, my account, okay? Okay. So maybe, maybe the- Is it the, a temporary problem? Yeah, it's a temporary problem. 
Okay, 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 okay. So maybe maybe that uh, storage account is not accessible as of now for the this tenancy. Okay. Mm. Uh, evening, I will try one more time. That is only option for. Yeah, later on you can try. But as of now, let me let me show you that one. No, okay, okay, please. From my side. Okay. So, hope my screen is visible to you. Yeah, it's clear. And in my case, what you can see, I have a US East, and then mm -hmm. the four other region I have subscribed. Okay. okay. Got it. Based on that, the pricing and other things will be there. So in the business, you need always there's a lot. Mm -hmm. Always make sure first thing you need to a network. Okay. For anything, and so for networking, you have to create a virtual cloud network, which okay. you have created a multiple time. If you remember. Yeah. Yesterday also I created one. Oh, no need to create a multiple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much if we can me. create a virtual network? It's maximum. your choice. It's your choice. It's your choice. No, no. In uh, I am asking the free trial version. Any limit for and, that? And, and number uh, and number. There is no limit has given. For VM, how much virtual machine? VM, the I think the three has given to you. Okay. okay. But I... but what you can do? What you can do? Okay. If you want the more, you can delete the older one and you can use it. So that okay. limitation they have given because two hundred fifty dollar you can play the entire one. Okay, okay, sure. Got it. Yeah, I got it. And then always choose the your right compartment because that is more. You can see the needed thing. So my compartment is nine nine two double four two zero three C zero one. So this is the my compartment which I am using. And here, these all the service will be automatically created. I am not changing anything. Mm. I'm just using with the VCM wizard because without that, I can't able to create. So that's why it's mandatory for me to create. Okay. So resource availability checked successfully. Good. Go ahead. Saying that. What happened? I can click. Maybe when create, let's create it. So within a less than a minute, or within a minute, you can see that will be created. Okay. Now the my VCN has created because without virtual cloud network, we can't able to use anything. Yes. Now let me go to the my storage and see it. So I can see here in the storage, and I'm creating the bucket. I am using in the US East, and I assume I will not get any issue. Yes. Are you able to see? Yeah. No. No don't. issue to that. In your your case, you can see there is a issue was showing into the as of now in the UAE. Yes. Got it. So I am creating the bucket. What the bucket name? So my style, I will give my bucket. You can see automatically it came. My mm. virtual bucket, whichever I have created earlier, that one. Okay. This already I describe you. You can use a yes. different type of the st storage type. Be the standard for the frequent access data. For less access data, we can use archive. Archive storage will be always a cheaper. So 0 0.10 cent per GB they are using. Price may be very depend on the your locations little bit. But most of the place in the cloud, in the especially in the Oracle cloud, price is the same. Mm -hmm. Where in the Azure, price will be little bit very Azure and AWS. Now encryption. So this we talk the auto enable auto tethering. So that means automatically move the infrequent access data from the standard type to the less expensive storage. So if you will enable it and if you are not accessing it for like the suppose 30 days you have not access. So automatically that will be goes to the low cost storage. That's where you can save that price. But this is just for demo. So I am not using it because I within a few minutes. After the demo, I will delete it because I unnecessarily I won't use it. Okay. Enable object versioning. So what it means? That means whenever the new file, you will upload the same file name. 
they will give the version name like version one, two, three, like new name will be done. So mm -hmm. existing object is over written. So creating the object version when a new object is uploaded and existing object is there. So it will be over right into that. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you want any notification? If yes, so you can check the event service. So email object event which create the automation based on the object status and uncommitted multi part upload which we talk so that way you can choose. So here I'm not doing this one and I'm just creating the bucket within a minute or less than that bucket will be created. Now mm -hmm. my bucket has created. Mm -hmm. it. Since your bucket has created, you can able to use this service as per the your choice. OK. Did you got the idea? Yeah. Now within a bucket, you can open it and you can able to. Put the your object. So here just example. I'm just using and I'm uploading my data. If you remember earlier, I have also shown this one. Yeah, yeah. So I can able to upload my data. So mm -hmm. object name what I want. So I am just putting my file. Just a name. What type of a storage? So like in frequent access or archive, you can choose it. Got it? Or mm -hmm. standard. And the file you can choose from this. So just for the demo, I am using the any of the image which I can see on the my laptop, which is available. Mm -hmm. OK, got it. Like just an example, I'm using the one. Like one file, got it? Yeah, which is the some KBs. OK, mm -hmm. the DBA trainings logo I have just uploaded. Mm -hmm. If I want yeah. to the another file, I can select it and I can use accordingly so okay. like the anything which i want to upload here maybe the some computer image or maybe as a dba database administrator image so i can able to upload now yeah. these two file i have uploaded so i can keep into upload and within a few seconds my file will be there okay now data is there okay so this is the way data is there Based on the, your need, you can able to give the access to the users. Like here, you can click, view the object details, you can download, got it. You can copy, update the storage style, got it. Create mm. PR size request, re encrypt, rename the file. So, those way you can able to do it. Okay. Okay. Now, if I want to someone or some changes, I can able to do creep, create pre authorized request. Mm -hmm. So what I want, I want to the entire bucket to give the someone access or I want to the specific purpose, a specific object, create pre authorized request to apply the specific object or object with the prefix like create a pre authorized request whenever I will start any object with the DBA name or like that. So like mm -hmm. I am giving the my authorization name. Pre auth. What is so pre authorized? And what I'm giving for the object. So permit object read, object write, and permit object read and write. So I'm giving read and write, and then I can able to get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now pre-authorize is there, and accordingly pre-authorized request URL will be there that I can share with the users. Okay. Copy the URL for your record, and then you can close it. So that way we have pre-authorized this. Now, oh, we please, please, please repeat that one one more time. That the URL, the URL you can able to access as per the your need. Okay. Got it. So like like what I said again, I am doing the this thing. Suppose this file, I am oh. going to take the action like pre authorized. Uh -huh. So here you can see, uh, like three dot line. So from mm. there you can go to pre authorized, or mm. the left side you can see the pre authentication request. Both are the same. Mm -hmm. Got it. Then pre authentication is given. Create pre authentication request and you can choose it. What you want for the entire bucket or for the object. Last time I have used for object. Am I correct? Yeah. So inside this bucket, I'm giving like test authentication. Mm. Got it. And based on that, I can see this will be expired on to when. So suppose seven days from the today, that is on 30. 
7th July and I can keep the crypto at right. So permit object read only. Write no. only or read and write. So both the read and write I'm giving. Mm. So anyone who have this URL like this, based on that, they can able to access it. Okay. okay. I think you on the chat, would you try that one? And then you can close it. So that's where you can get it. Or I can open this here and you can see. If I will go that object, so it is showing that my bucket does not exist in the namespace. So then that means you are not authorized to access it until unless permission is not given for that bucket. Similar way, we can able to use the metrics, the rules we talk. Did you remember lifecycle policy rules? So you can create the rules, what rule you want. You can decide key, the object which is keeping that should be moved to the archive storage after 30 days, and then you can create it accordingly. Okay. The infrequent access, like rule one, I want the any all object in the bucket move to the archive if not access for the seven days. Mm -hmm. Not okay. So that case it will do. So and that we can never to create. Okay, okay. If any user is not using seven days, then it automatically got the archive. Yes, and, yes. And and like it's a billing amount also reduced. Yes, definitely. So and that's why we have put the my bucket the rule one. Okay. So they have the now the rules. What is? Yeah. So this rules will mm. basically applied to the user. What the rule I have said to move to the archive. If it is not used, if I want to change the rule, like move to archive or move to infrequent access or delete, whatever. So that is the rule two I am making. Rule one, I have not given the number. So that way you can edit it. If you want to the new rule, you can able to give it. I don't have the permission for this object level. But suppose I want to create a new rule, I can put it, create. And rule name I can give the rule two. Mm -hmm. Got it. And this rule I'm saying you delete it if the file is not used for 30 days. Just example. So this is the way you can create the different rules. Okay, okay. okay. And maximum how many rules we can create for the one bucket? And now and, and number there's no real limit has given. Okay. But generally rule why you want for the specific task. Am I correct? Yeah. Like yeah. in frequent access, you want to change the to save the storage cost, or maybe you want to delete the file for the specific purpose. If it is not used, so those purpose you can keep. Mm -hmm. Similar like we can make the retention policy. Okay. Got it. So you can make your policy, what policy you want to apply to that, and that way you can able to create a policy like retain for 30 days. Mm -hmm. So retention, I'm just putting here. Uh, sorry, it's a, a replication policy. If we talk, so which region? So from here, I want to the, it should be US East we have, so US based. Mm -hmm. So that way, replication policy. What happened in this case, whatever the data we are copying in this bucket, mm -hmm. so okay. you can able to use it. And this destination also, you have to create the bucket first, and then you can choose it. Okay. Do you remember the pre-request I told you? Yeah. So that way you can create a replication policy. Similar way retention rule, you can able to create the retention rule. Ki okay. How long the data could be kept. So time bound or you can choose identified. So retention timeout, like you can see the one, maybe in the day or year, or what you want, or the two or five or seven. So those many days, if it is not used, then it will be removed. Yeah. Are you getting the point? Yeah, and I understood that one. So that is the way you can able to change. That is the way it will work. So as I said, always the VCN security rules for the, your file storage, those all you can do. And later on, you can able to access that. Okay. So no. make sure before creating the any file, you have a proper VCN. Got it? Yeah. Or yeah. 
based on that VCN, you can define the source, destination port range, and those all you can able to use. Okay. okay. So like what I did, the frequent access, I have not allowed the, anyone can connect. I can go to the my network, mm -hmm. the virtual cloud network I have created. My VCN and within my VCN, I have a my public subnet which I use for the create or if you want the public or private and then you can keep into the security list over there. Okay. So ingress and egress rule, you okay. want to allow, you can able to add the ingress rule. Okay. What ingress rule I am allowing? I am saying here, go ahead and whenever the request will come from this, the TCP IP, I can use the accordingly. Yes, yes. Got it. So yeah. the, I am allowing the CIDR, which is TCP IP and port range. So which port I am allowing connect. So I'm mm -hmm. saying that any port is coming 204822050. Okay. That I allow. Okay. Got it. So 48, 49, and 50. Got it. Okay. And I can able to add. So add the English rule. If the this, this you want, you can give the any hint like a storage access. Okay. Or anything. Why why you have defined this port, you can use. So 10.0.0, 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Okay. So anything you can give the source CIDR and that way you can allow that ingress rule. Now the ingress rule is there for the yes. port of the 204 to 2050. Okay. That will be allowed to connect. Okay. Got it. Yeah, got. But one doubt, sir. Uh, so this uh, VCN, because this VCN is using a lot of things, other activity ah. also. So yes. this uh, port, we can enable for only this uh, uh, object storage or for everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. See, this port, why you want? Like I want, okay, not the CIDR. The, we can choose it and accordingly you can choose. Like okay. this 10 dot, just example, I want the only one port. So 10 dot, 0 dot, so any source ID will come for this. And instead of TCP, I want this time the UDP. Mm -hmm. So request will come from the UDP that I want. On which port I want? The so source port all and the station port I am putting here. 2048. So only request will come from UDP that I am allowing. Mm -hmm. And that way I can never do add English rule. Mm -hmm. So there's another rule has made, but this will apply for UDP port. Yes, yes. Got it. Similar way, if I want to the new port again, I can add the English rule. And here, destination port, my CIDR 10.0.0. 10 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0 slash 16 TCP port and the port source port I am IPP protocol and destination port I'm giving 111. Okay. okay. This example I'm using. This mm -hmm. is used for NFS RPC bind utility that purpose. Okay. For UDP traffic earlier I did. Accordingly you can choose and accordingly you can give it. Okay. So the TCP I allowed and then it will work. Mm -hmm. Similar way, only the TCP 111 will be allowed. But okay. what happened if the request will come from UD? UDP. So you can you can also choose here accordingly for UDF. Like okay. 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 16. And what I am choosing, the UDF I am choosing this time. Oh sorry, UDP. And the port 111 I am allowing again. Got it? Yeah. So this way I have added the four rule here. Okay. You can see here. These four rule I allow to connect. Okay. Got it? So you can choose the ingress rule, what you want to allow them to connect, and accordingly, you can able to do it. Okay. Now, 
let me go and create the another storage which is called the file storage did you understood this one yeah uh, do you want to create a file storage as well no though because i have one doubt for this storage yeah, so object storage and archive sorry both are same type we can create no changes uh, no changes archive storage is the lowest lay cost but the minimum 90 days data which you want to store that you can choose it okay okay because we need to go to the object storage and uh, bucket and we need to select which one we need that all correct correct okay correct. okay okay now do, now let me do one thing <laughs> mm. did you understood this concept yeah any doubt for this uh, i need to again watch this video so because it's a very big topic so almost i understood what you told but practice is enough for me so because hey, i need more practice for this thing okay so let me do one thing let okay. me show you the one small example for the file storage okay, okay. got it yeah. and then you can use it in the further okay got it okay and for one a... one help i need from your so please upload this video today so because yes, uh, sure. I will, I will, to, I will, today and I will. tomorrow i can practice yeah so file system you can see here the file storage okay. Okay. and now here i am going to create my file system okay file storage theoretically we have not discussed yet we will talk it later but okay. this is the storage which you can able to attach with the your any of the your instances no oh, okay but it like there we are accessing here yeah. you can choose the file store system how you want file system for replication or file system for nfs okay. so it's a like a mount point for you okay. got it so that's a standard practice you can able to choose got it mm. so now i can go and i can create it just example yeah. so this is the if you want to change you can able to do it also like here they did the details and you can able to change it if you yeah. want okay let me cancel this okay it's already uh, started so no oh, i have one that file system for nfs and file are both are what different uh, yes both have the different okay. the file system for nfs and file system this is for the only replication purpose no okay, okay okay replication to other region Okay. this by mistake i have created let me delete it okay sure i need to change the name uh exported file system okay no problem i can create a new one so create the file system and then i am using the file system name because this name i don't like mm -hmm. got it yeah this is not a good as per the my choice i no. want my own name so just mm -hmm. example i want file system fss storage Like mm -hmm. earlier in the some demo I have shown, so automatically name came. Got it. And then mm -hmm. you can decide what you want. So mm -hmm. encrypted using the Oracle minus file. By default, this will be selected. And AD, you can choose based on the your compute instance where the, your compute instance is running. Accordingly, you can able to choose it. Mm -hmm. Got it. So here I am using the AD one. Got okay. it. and then i am using the export information so this will be the link that's why i was giving the name otherwise earlier you have seen the very big name has taken mm -hmm. so within a few minute it will be created so what the name i have given i have given the fss storage okay okay the, another i am creating the file system which is called fss mount okay okay so let me go and give the name call fss mount just example okay got it so this i am using and then here i am choosing the my compartment the availability domain and then where you want the mount target so that it is showing okay file system for nfs you can choose you can use it got it if you want to edit if you want to give the new name the export path you can able to do it accordingly okay got it and then you can create it mm -hmm. so 
that is the way you can create so within the OCI tenancy has the limit of uh, the number of the mount target that can be created and also you can make sure everyone will be able to create a mount target and will need to use one that is already created for the other user so okay. suppose if there is already there then it will be difficult now what i am going to do i am going to show how you can access this one so just for example i have created a multiple file system so we have a fss storage let's open it and this fss storage you can able to see the my storage and okay. then we have a export here what is the export part we have fss storage yes okay now this ffs storage will be used for accessing your data okay yeah so mount file system or the fss you can able to do it and accordingly you can able to use it and this right. file you can able to mount anywhere okay mm. like mm -hmm. fss storage you can open and this storage you can able to mount with any instance mm. okay who can access so anyone zero 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 means i allow the anyone should have to read and write access mm, okay. so this is the like see utility from there they can access it mm -hmm. got it good so this is another storage type we have which you can able to use then you can take the image over there what is kept snapshot you can able to generate you can use the replication you can make the snapshot policy when it will be created it is all you can decide and accordingly you can able to use okay and this file okay. storage why we are mostly you are using we are using for file storage is like a general storage where we can able to attach with the one instance we can mm. able to if i need a more storage for the particular application server be the your instance be the application server so this case we can able to use like the block storage or we have a attached similar like we can able to do it so it's like a simple file system which you can able to use for the your storage okay so what are the files we can store inside this one most of any, any file any file any file, okay. file store any file if you remember we talk about the file storage mm. uh, as of now i have not discussed the mode into file storage yes, but yes. for your understanding just i can give you the file storage basically give you the up to the 8 tb of the data 8 tb okay uh, uh, sorry 8 eb not tb eb yes so 1024 tb is equal to 1 eb okay mm. and this is basically used for like you want to store the any application which you want to share the file system like your machine can also use that mount point and my machine can also use that mount point it's like a you have a send service in the your on premises mm -hmm. okay so it's a shared storage basically like the you are using in the send service so similar like the block volume so block volume what happen you can use for the database you can use for the virtual machine you can able mm. to attach block volume am i correct yeah but this have the link based on the link anyone can access so this is like a nfs network okay. file system okay okay it. so it's like a your you have a storage server in short you can understand and here you can keep your data okay okay got it yeah this is like a nfs means it's a uh, file server so network you, network file storage network yeah file network, storage network file storage so you sir need any file then you can they can like, access. like here you can see file storage provide durable scalable secure enterprise grade network file system mm -hmm. that you can connect to from any bare metal virtual machine or the container instance for your virtual cloud network 
Okay. Is uh, anything related to file server like a on premise file server? Because it's on file on on premise file server. We are giving users for uh, because the department based uh, files they are storing in uh, some location, and every mm -hmm. user is accessing that one. So anything Same like that. Same like that. This is the mount point. Oh. Okay. Whenever you are getting mm -hmm. this is storage, it's like a storage. Yeah. It? Yeah. And based on the storage, user can able to access it, like mm -hmm. export path. And then anyone, the user who have that, they can able to access it. Yeah, yeah. So this is the path they have. Okay. Got it. So and this based path on that, they can able to keep. Yes. This path, the user need to type in browser or where we need to open no, that. No, from the there, they will access from the, the some machine, na. Like the bare okay. material or virtual machine or maybe the container instance. Okay, okay. To that taken. User okay. will not directly access from here like this. If you, you will give this, it will show you the error. Yeah, yeah, I you know. Can't. I understand. You can't. Okay, okay. So, so inside basically the on the instance you can able to attach. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Suppose no, you know. have a some instance, there you can able to do it. I okay. don't have any instance yet. So that's why I want to able to show you. If you want, I can create and then I can able to mount it. No problem, no I will do that. I understood the topic. So that's it for this storage. The another no. storage, we have a block volume. Got it. No. Okay. So a block volume is also like a similar type of a storage where people can use the block level storage. Okay. Okay. So here you can see. The file I have guided you, mm -hmm. the file storage I have guided you, and then you can use the mount target like where you want. This mm -hmm. storage with the file you created, so you can use onto the particular machine where you want. So this is the mount target, and mm -hmm. based on that you can able to use this service. Okay. Which subnet it is the public subnet, and then you can able to access it. These yes. are the yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's clear. File storage is clear. Got it. So this is my my storage. Just example name I have just renamed. Mm, okay. Got it. Yeah. And then people can able to access this like this way. Mm -hmm. So it's just an example. This is the storage service you have. Okay. Got it. And this way you can able to mount into the any operating system. Yeah. Like in the Linux, if you want to mount it, so suppose you have a Linux instance, you can go to your Linux machine, use the install and FS utility. Then this is the my storage mount point I have given that you can use and then you can give the permission. Mm -hmm. That's okay. it. So it will okay. be done. If you are going to use into the like Red Hat or CentOS accordingly, the command will be little bit changed. You know, one two or Debian. So these are all the places you can. Okay. okay. Hello. So yeah, yeah, that's another technique you can able to use your storage and you can able to mount it for the specific location okay. or any of the your disk. Okay. Right. So accordingly, you can choose what are the storage, what are the things, and then you can able to get the file system like FSS storage similar way. You can use FSS storage and then you can able to get a mount command and this way you can able to. So that, that I have given you the IP addresses. Did you remember? Yeah, yeah. Ingress rule, this egress rule you have to give. So before mounting the file system for access, the port number triple one, two zero four eight, two zero four nine, two zero five zero. So this I have given for TCP 
and UDP I have given. Did you remember? Yeah, yeah. Similar so, way, the egress rule you have given, the egress rule also you have to give these. So here mentioned IP only uh, port only we need to enable extra we don't want to enable. Yeah, that, then you can able to access the file system now. Okay, okay, okay. From your so, machine, you are okay. accessing it. How you will access? With port. With the some port, na? Uh -huh. That's what you say. Okay, okay. So they are already mentioned that port detail. So we need to enable the same port. That's all. Yes, like the ingress rule we have given similar way. You can use the egress rule, which mm. I have not discussed. So in the network, you can go and you can use your virtual cloud network, and then you can able to get it. Okay. okay. And there you can able to use it. Got it? Yeah, I got good. Ingress rule and inside the VC. Clear? Yeah, it's clear. And here, like the public subnet you have used, there you have the virtual. And then you can use the security. Then, like the ingress rule, you have given a similar way, you can use the egress rule. Yeah, yeah. And here you can add the egress rule. Mm -hmm. Whatever the port you have given, similar way, destination G0 means for everyone you are allying. No, yeah, it's zero, 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 and it's life zero. Okay. Like there, and the port number, one, one, one. Similar way, you can able to add uh, other egress rule for other ports. Mm -hmm. Got it? Good, good. It's clear. Like the ingress you have given, same. You can give for UDP and other, like these, all the port, 2048. Then 204820 20, 20, 50, like that one. Okay. Hope you understood it. Yeah, it's clear, very clear. So it's because it's very important topic. I need to watch this video again, again, two, three times. So I, I will upload and tell you the link. Yeah, yeah, please. And yesterday video also, please. Yesterday. Yesterday. I got there was no lecture. No, two days back that uh, after Kubernetes, you create one more. Oh, yeah, resources. Yeah. That I already uploaded. Resources, region, registry. Up to Kubernetes only I create, got. You can check it. There should be. No, today I opened this one. One minute. You can see my screen, show my screen. One minute, I'll share. Share this one. Yes, I can. This one only I got. Scroll down. Yeah, that is the registry service. That is there, the second option. Okay, this one. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. So I'm stopping here and we'll catch you in the next topic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you for your class and help.